Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. So this treatment is going to be fantastic for loosening tight muscles, especially in the neck. Um, we're going to start in the back of the neck and work up the sides and across the chest, just like you would in a gua sha treatment. So we're going to help loosen tight muscles. Not only is this going to feel nice, you're going to get a nice stretch. I know a lot of us are looking at our phones constantly right now because we're stuck inside. And I know with editing and making videos, I'm always looking down. So I think this is going to be a treat for all of us. So I recently watched one of Jane Mann's microcurrent videos, and I'm going to link the video I watched down below. If you're unfamiliar with Jane Mann, she's an esthetician based in Las Vegas, and she is like the OG microcurrent educator. She, so she does a lot of professional education, but she also has videos that give you some tips and tricks and kind of like unique styles of using microcurrent at home or for using microcurrent on clients in your treatment room. Ever since I watched the video, I wanted to play around with some of her movements. A couple of them are different than what I normally do, but a lot of them are very similar to the movements I normally do using my gua sha tools prior to microcurrent. So in all of my professional treatments, I do a full gua sha facial massage and then I do a microcurrent treatment. And I found that the gua sha really helps to um, increase circulation. It loosens up any adhesions in the muscle and you get a lot of flow. So blood flow in, lymphatic drainage out. So Jane does a lot of these movements, but she's doing it with microcurrent. And she did a treatment with her microcurrent gloves and I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to do it. So this treatment is gonna be amazing for releasing tight muscles, but it's also gonna help with a little bit of lymphatic drainage. It's gonna help release tight fascia, which can negatively influence muscles and skin, creating deeper lines and wrinkle formation. So the things you're gonna to need to perform this treatment are a microcurrent machine. So ideally one that has microcurrent gloves as an attachment. I'm gonna be using my 70 Wellness Myolift Mini because I know a lot of you guys have that device now. You'll need your lead wires, a pair of nitrile gloves, and your conductivity microcurrent gloves. Normally when I do my glove treatments, I just get them wet. Jane was doing her treatment with damp gloves, but also with a conductivity gel. I have my 70 Wellness Restore conductivity gel here, just in case I wanna play around with that. So you're gonna put on your nitrile gloves and then you're gonna put on your conductivity gloves. The reason you're using gloves underneath your gloves is so that your hands don't absorb all the microcurrent. It's going to allow the microcurrent to be concentrated in your hand and you can use your hand just like you would your microcurrent probes. So you want to do this treatment on clean skin. So earlier today I did my Nuwa Beauty radio frequency treatment and after I do that treatment I always do a deeper cleanse so that I can remove all of that conductivity gel. And my favorite oil-free cleanser is Lucerne's Essentials Cleansing Gel A. And I always use my Quixonic Zoe cleansing device together so I have a really nice thorough cleanse. I toned my skin with Glycerne's Essentials Hydrating Essence, my absolute favorite hydrating toner. It's so amazing and one little product totally transforms your skin. And then I did prep my skin with a little bit of their um, Serum Absolute Rehydrate. So this is a hydrating serum and the more hydrated your skin is, during a microcurrent treatment, the more effective the microcurrent will be. I'm also drinking lots of water. Is anyone else having trouble staying hydrated while stuck at home? It's like the last thing I think to do. I'm gonna get my gloves wet. So I just ran my gloves underneath the sink and then wrang them out to get rid of any excess moisture. So to do this treatment, you're gonna use your erase setting or if you have the Myolift 600, you're gonna use the long setting. I'm gonna use Erase Level 2, and then I'm gonna increase my intensity all the way up to 400 microamps, because why not? And then I'm gonna hit Run. So I'm gonna start at the back of my neck and release my trapezius. 
So your trap runs all the way down here. And it's one of the muscles, at least on me, that gets the most tight. And when this muscle gets tight, it affects all the other muscles attached to it. So it pulls the face in different directions. So you're gonna hold one hand as a stationary probe, and the other is going to glide down and away from it. You always wanna to check to make sure that your conductivity bar is solid. And I'm actually using kind of medium firm pressure just because my traps are so tight and it feels amazing. So this would feel good even without the microcurrent gloves, but with the addition of the erase setting, we're really helping to loosen and elongate this muscle. So from here, we're gonna do this chest area and drain it into the lymph node. I've actually never done this in this setting before. I've done um, lymphatic drainage on the chest and neck using the Myolift MD device, which has its own lymphatic setting. So we'll see how this goes. So she has one hand stationary at the clavicle and then she very slowly, like very, very slowly, drains down towards the armpit. So not only are you getting a little lymph drainage, you're really helping to stretch out these tight muscles. So then from here, she holds one hand in the center and you're gonna do that same spreading out of these pec muscles going down here towards your armpit. So I actually have thoracic outlet syndrome. So, so between my pectoralis muscles and my trapezius, I get a lot of tightness. It actually kind of pinches the nerves that run out here through your thoracic outlet. So all your nerves run up your spine and then come out here and then go down your arm. And for many years, all of the nerves here were so tight that I just had shooting nerve pain down my arm. So I think anyone that's having any sort of nerve pain or uh, tendonitis or uh, cubital tunnel or carpal tunnel syndrome, I feel like doing some lengthening massage with microcurrent could be really effective. Okay, so then from here, we're gonna stretch out our necks. We have two muscles here that we're gonna focus on. We have our sternocleidomastoid muscle and your platysma. So the platysma runs clavicle to cheekbone. And your sternocleidomastoid comes back here across and down towards your midline. So let's stretch both of those. So let's start with the sternocleidomastoid. I'm gonna start in the center of the muscle. And I'm going to slowly glide my hands apart. Now, for whatever reason, in Jane's videos, she goes right over her thyroid. I'm gonna avoid my thyroid, just so we don't adversely stimulate it. So I'm just kind of stopping right next to my thyroid area here. So you can do this with fairly light pressure and still get a lot of benefit for these muscles. So then from here, again, I'm gonna start in the middle of my neck 
and my hands are gonna glide apart. One's gonna go up towards my cheekbone and the other towards my collarbone. And if you notice, I kind of did it in three sections so that I worked all the way across this muscle and we can just do that a few more times. Well guys, I thought I was recording and it wasn't until I was editing this video that I realized the entire upper face tutorial was not cut on film. <laughs> so here we are the next day. I'm gonna go back and do the platysma just in case. So we're starting in the belly of the muscle and we're gliding away. And we've done these long sweeping movements here. And now I'm gonna kind of come in a little shorter. I'm gonna put one hand underneath the jaw and I'm gonna glide the other hand up and away towards my uh, zygomaticus in my cheek. So we're gonna be stretching a little bit of our uh, buccinator here, buccinator and our masseter here. So we're just doing a little stretching. I'm gonna pass over my buccinator here to my masseter, which runs north to south. And we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna go really slow. And this release feels so nice. I have kind of like medium pressure right now. But this is gonna be really nice for anyone that clenches their jaw or has TMJ. Kind of start in the center and glide apart. And then I'm gonna come down onto my mentalis. I'm stretching it down over my chin. This is the muscle that's responsible for that deep crease that happens underneath the lip. I'm gonna do the same movements over here on my depressors in the corner of my platysma. And now I'm gonna do my obicularis Oris, right? So it encircles the mouth. So I'm going to come in on one side this way. And then I'm going to go all the way up and over. And then I'm going to do this top lip. And then come all the way down. Now with my probes, I usually come in here at my nasal labial fold. Um, Jane Mann kind of comes all the way up through here and just opens this area up so you get lots of oxygenation and circulation. And comes out this way. Stationary here, glide up. So then she also comes up through here. So here you have your levitator labi superioris, which runs like this, and then your zygomaticus muscles that come this way over the cheek. And these movements are less about lengthening the muscle and more about creating circulation through this cheek area where a lot of stagnation tends to collect. So she lifts up and holds down. So this is actually a really similar movement to some of your kind of pinch and hold techniques with 
um, the educate setting, but again, we're still in a race. Okay, so now I'm gonna move up to the eye area. So we'll start, we have our procerus that comes down here. It connects to some muscles on either sides of the nose. Um, and I'm gonna stretch this all out. So uh, these next movements, I do a lot of them during my cleansing massage on my clients. Um, so I'm gonna start in the middle of my brows and I'm gonna glide one hand up and one hand down my nose. And we're just stretching out these muscles. It's not firm pressure. You're just getting a little resistance and a nice little stretch. And then you can come here, one hand on your procerus, and then you're gonna glide down, kind of stretching it out on the side here. When I do my facial massage, I'll support here and kind of come all the way down underneath the cheekbone and it just it feels good to kind of carve this out we're going to stretch the procerus into the corrugator and the auricularis oculi around the eye so we're stretching away this way we get the corrugators we get the um, orbicularis or oculi, sorry, orbicularis oculi, not oris. We're gonna come in here and stretch it out underneath the eye. Kind of sweep away this way. And then I'm gonna sweep this way, stretching out the orbicularis oculi in the other direction. And then we're gonna stretch those crow's feet that happen on the corner here. And I get this really amazing eye opening, right? Look at that, right? So this is really nice for the sinuses coming this way. Okay, and now we're gonna move up to the frontalis. Now, I'm not gonna mess up my hair, but your frontalis runs all the way back here, right? Not only does the muscle connect all the way into the back of your head, but so do all of the fascia on your face, right? It connects up into the hairline. So feel free to do your movements and sweep all the way back when you do them. Um, same onto the side of the head if you wanted to do any kind of release here. It's a nice way to activate and loosen a lot of this tight fascia. So um, I'm just gonna start in the center of my forehead and glide my hands apart. I'm gonna work my way across my forehead. Okay, so the last thing that you could do if you choose to is a little more lymphatic drainage and I'm going to try it with my erase setting to see how this works for you guys to do it at home. So um, you're just going to put one hand here at the lymph node and we're going to slowly and very gently glide the other hand down towards the clavicle. We did a little bit of this earlier. You can also do light kind of pumping movements where you apply pressure and then release pressure, keeping contact the whole time. We're gonna move just down the jaw this way a little bit. So essentially we're doing a lot of the same movements that you do with your gua sha tool. So we're gonna glide out and away. And then we're going to drain down. Just 
Drain down and all the way down. No little pumps here. You could come in with a V, go on either side of your ear, holding one finger so you have contact. And then you're just kind of doing this light pumping kind of circular movement around these lymph nodes at the ear. And you'll get a really nice drainage effect here. Kind of slowly work your way down the neck. And come in at the eye. Drain it down. And across the forehead. That worked well. Okay, so I sped up the other side and I posted it on my IGTV. I'll put the link down there if you wanna see it kind of quickly done all together. Um, when you're done with your gloves, you're going to wash them with soap and water. For home use, soap and water should be fine. There are some silver threads inside your gloves that not only promote the conductivity, but they're also antimicrobial. For using your gloves on clients, I like to spray mine down with like an isopropyl alcohol, and then you can put them in a UV sanitizer. So now you guys can see how super easy to use these gloves are. Um, I wanna thank Jane Mann so much for reminding me to use my gloves because I really just haven't been using them. And it's so nice to not have to put conductivity gel on your face. So this is gonna be a really great option if you want something more cost effective where you're not applying product constantly when you're doing your microcurrent treatment. This is gonna be really great also if uh, you're having trouble with the probes. It's also a really nice alternative if you have any sensitivity conductivity gels out there. And then when I was finished with my treatment, I just popped on a little bit of a facial oil. I'm gonna link all the products I used down below along with my 70 wellness discount code. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. If you liked this video, even though it was a little funky, a little casual, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, thank you again to Jane Mann for inspiring this video and for all of the educational content that you put out there. I really appreciate you. If you guys want to see me every day, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I post a lot of quick videos over there and on my IGTV. I'm trying to get in the habit of just turning on the camera whenever I'm gonna do anything on myself so that I can create more and more videos for all of you. All right, everybody, I hope you are well. I hope that you are at home and safe and I will see you all really soon.